everybody, Tanisha here coming to you guys with a Happy New Year 2020 Planner Beginners course. Um, this video was requested and I will make sure to um, reply back to her comment with the link to this video. But for those of you who are interested in getting started with planning, I actually want some goodies over the holiday season. And I'm so excited to share with you a couple of things that I want and to show you how to begin planning if you're interested. So let me go ahead and show you what I want first and then I'll be right back with the course. So all of these items were won in a recent giveaway. Um, if you follow me on Instagram at married to kdk you saw that. So I'm very, very grateful for these items. And you can go ahead and check on the screen as well as the description box for that um, information. And also for a link to that video so you can see what else that I won. All right, let's get started. All right, so what I have done to this so far is I did change the disc on the side. They were all the mini size disc and they were all this color. However, I decided to add that pop of yellow. This is not something you have to do. What I really want to talk to you today is about how to use what I received to get started planning. You really don't need much when you get started planning. So basically, the package that I received came with a folder, some note paper, some sticky notes, a dashboard, and it also came with some extra um, a little details, little decorative things. So once you pop open your planner, you pop the plastic off, you'll see this nice welcome note. Welcome, you're a planner now. Oh my God, you're so awesome. Okay, so it's also um, important to note that each planner cover is reversible. Now, I am not sure about their new spiral planners, but I am a disc bound girl. I love disc bound planners. So that's what I can show you here. So each of them are reversible. You can feel free to add stickers to it, to personalize it, whatever you want to do. Now, some people write their names here I choose to go ahead and print my name out I have HP Insta ink ink needs to be used okay so what I do is I print my name out and then I glue it also if this planner is going to be used for something specific or um, just so I can keep an FYI um, if ever I'm showing something off or I'm taking it somewhere I'll also put a note of what my planner is used for okay so since it's just my little mini that I'm going to be carrying with me I didn't have to do that so, of course, we have our view of 2020 and 2021, and then we go right in here to your full year. And I really like that they're including this in all the planners now, especially in the faith planners. I think this is a really good way to keep track of things and upcoming dates, stuff like that. So, let me show you what I did. I took the stickers that came with this accessories pack right here, and I just used them to decorate my monthly for January. So here we have just the good vibe stickers. I added that it was New Year's Day. That was a sticker that I already had. And um, I added this from the other mini sticker book that I received. So I just got a chance to just, you know, decorate it. You don't have to. I'm, most days I don't, most times I don't decorate my mini, but I decided to go ahead and decorate it. So what you can use this for is to track any upcoming events. If you're using this for your household planner, you can attract appointments on this, whatever you need to get a monthly view, play dates, all that good stuff. Okay. So then this is a dashboard layout. So in my weekly I have plenty of room to write. So that's one thing that I like about this mini being a dashboard layout. When the mini is in horizontal, I do feel like it doesn't give you a lot of room to write. And then it also doesn't give you opportunities to add things like this. Like in order to have a buying list, errands list, calls, emails, bill list, I would have to add stickers for that. Well, since this is, this is a dashboard layout mini, I don't have to worry about that. It's already done for me. Okay, so I do like that it has a weekly focus here at the bottom. And what I did is I just went through and placed stickers there for my, I have an inspirational sticker pack that I use. So this one says, we do not remember the days, we remember moments. So I love that. And then I like that it has the points for calls, emails, bills, groceries, errands, all that good stuff. So I did go through and do some decorating for the month of January and I didn't do a lot because with it being dashboard and it being a mini there's not a lot of space to write now dashboard does I feel give you more space 
than the horizontal menu does and it gives you more opportunity to add more information but I still want to make sure I have plenty of room to write down everything appointments and all that good stuff so this is just some of the decorating that I did with the stickers that were provided to me out of those sticker books okay so last but not least is this dashboard here since mine did come with these two sticky notes right here I decided to go ahead and add some extra sticky notes that I had laying around so I can make it full and so it can lay flat. I think this is really good um, to put things that are tentative. So for example, if I know that on February the 15th, I have an appointment um, or a meeting, you know, for my blog at 3 p.m., I can use a sticky note to write that on instead of using my pen. Um, and that way, if it gets canceled, I can pop that sticky note off before I get to that week or if I get to that week and it's set in stone then I can remove the sticky note and actually write it on my planner okay so um I really like using sticky notes and I keep them in every single one of my planners and I make these little dashboards out of old monthlies and all sorts of stuff so if you want to see a video on that then definitely let me know and I will get that recorded so that's pretty much it on how to get started planning. Just you can decorate how you want to. Um, I have the um, Valentine stickers that were given right here for the prize. And I took those and decorated my February. And then I just accented throughout the month. So you can do it however you choose to do it, okay? And decorate it. Don't decorate it. Totally up to you. But the main thing about planning, I think, is just making sure that you have something you enjoy writing with something that you enjoy um, holding and carrying, something that's the colors that you like. My favorite pen to write with in the whole wide world is a RSVP pen. I love writing with these old school RSVP pens. I have them in every color. I have them in every style. That's just my preference, but some people like using permanent markers. Of course, I have all those too, but still, I always come back to my favorite RSVP pen. So now I'm going to show you some things that you can use to complement um, your planner. Now, if you do get a mini, this video is about this mini planner. So if you do get a mini, I definitely suggest if you're new to planning, just grabbing a mini and grabbing one of these accessory packs. Um, now, of course, I expanded mine because the note paper that was included in the accessory pack is back here as well as the folder. And then on hand, I had some mini hourlies pages, so I just added those as well. So that's why I decided to switch mine to the classic size disc. If you are not going to switch yours, you can just take some months out. And what I do is I store months that I don't use in my packages like this. So if I was going to keep these on the mini disc, I would take about three months out and keep it in here or maybe four or five months out and keep it in here. And then I would add the note paper like I did. That way I can keep it on the mini size disc, okay? So um, if you are going to stay with the mini size, here are a couple of books that I definitely recommend if you are into stickers. If you're not, that's fine. But if you're into stickers, I recommend you getting mini size book. So here I have a seasonal book. I like it because again, it's mini. You know, when you're decorating, the stickers are smaller. They're going to fit in those spaces. Now this is, designed for a mini horizontal but what I do is I cut these so I actually did that in here where I cut it in half and I use this as decoration and then I use this as the writing space for another day so that's how you can use those stickers that were designed for horizontal days in your dashboard layout okay and I'll show you that here in a second I definitely suggest the tiny sticker book and some of these sticker books I've had forever so I'm not sure if they're even still making these but these are good because they offer a variety of stickers mom stickers they're basically a, a combination of a lot of our favorite sticker books just in smaller form so you'll be able to use this one and then of course if you're using your mini for a faith journal or not um, if you're just into faith and Christianity I definitely recommend the mini faith sticker pack it is the bomb it has everything that the regular classic size has just more of it because they're smaller and I think that it is awesome and I love that you can add some scripture and things like that to your planner um, no matter what size it is okay so all right found it so I definitely want to show you this before I ended this video this is where I was telling you that I went ahead and I did add those stickers and I cut them in half so this is one this pink and white and pink and white was one together I took that I cut it in half 
and I was able to use half of it here and half of it here. And then I have this pink one here. I only used the note part. I didn't use the decoration. And then this noted sticker is here and here. I just split it up, but see how I added the noted? And then it says noted. So it gave me a chance to put that yellow with the pink with the silver. Now you can decorate and coordinate however you want to. That's your business. But that's just some tips. So I hope that you enjoyed this planner um, basics video. Just a one-on-one -on -one, um talk and discussion on how to get started planning at low cost i'm all about not spending a lot of money like even with these sticker books just wait for them to go on sale they go on sale 99 times a year at somebody's store they will be on sale there's no reason for you to run out no reason for you to rush and pay the regular price wait for them to go on sale catch them at your local stores or you can order them online from various places even these planners they're going to go on sale um honestly a lot of these planners will be on clearance very soon if they're not already for 2020 yes 2020 planners will be on clearance within the next week or two so feel free to wait a week or two and grab one then all right so i hope you truly enjoyed this video if you have any questions please comment below don't forget to check out the blog tanishakim.com to see what i'm talking about and i have a whole planner section guys if you just go to my blog you click menu and then you go down you'll see planners and there'll be all the planner posts guys right there for you to learn about this hobby that i enjoy so much that keeps my life organized that keeps me reading scripture keeps me in tune with my family and friends and just helps me to relax and show gratitude every single day all right i will see you guys in the next video enjoy your 2020 and happy new year bye